What you laughing about, Pickles? Oh, just thinking about how, for many years, I thought that vacuum was out to get me. Wait, that's why you always bolted when it came out? I thought you just had a dramatic streak. You thought the vacuum was actually coming for you? Every time I saw it, my eyes would practically pop out of my head. I'd hide under the bed, behind the curtains, anywhere I could cram myself. I was convinced that thing would suck me up if it got the chance. Pickles, I sat there every time. I never moved a muscle for that clunky beast. How on earth did you not notice I wasn't getting eaten? I thought maybe you were just lucky. Maybe it didn't notice you because you were so still. Or that it was biding its time. But I wasn't sticking around to find out. But one day... Oh, here it comes. The big moment. Yeah. One day I was trapped. Nowhere to run. I closed my eyes, ready for the end. Heart racing, tail tucked, expected to be vacuumed into oblivion. And then... And then? It just went right past me. Completely ignored me like I wasn't even there. All those years, you were terrified for nothing. All those dramatic exits. The wild-eyed sprints. Yep. I've been running from that thing my whole life, and it wasn't even coming after me. Unbelievable. I'm sitting there every time, calm as a king, which I am, and meanwhile, you're out here staging your own horror movie. Next time, maybe watch the cat who isn't losing his mind. But you don't take anything seriously. You were found in a parking lot and just plopped down in front of a truck that almost drove over you. I have a commanding presence. And at that time, I commanded a human to bring me into a nice home and feed me tasty things. Yeah, well, thankfully, that's what you got. But you got to admit, you wouldn't last long outdoors. Nonsense! I have great survival skills. I survived the vacuum for years. We literally just agreed the vacuum has never been a threat. Mm, uh, less talking, more napping. Oh my goodness.